All right, welcome back. We've got you a pivotal game three here between humans and four color control. So I'm not sure quite what's in the four yeah, color control deck. Seems like a lot of those builds vary. So we'll have to see what Ryan is running. I wonder what the color that we're missing <laughs> is. Uh, huh. It's not going to be blue. It's not going to be green. Hey, I'm I feel like it's either white or green. I feel like they could be missing red, yeah, but I'm not sure. What do you think, chat? Take votes. It's true, yeah, I guess. What if color is four color control missing? If yeah? you're uh, if you're not going to have lightning bolt and you're playing four other colors, you're going to have a fair amount of other flexible removal. Oh, so that makes sense. Keep it. Yeah. All right. I see a K command, so I was wrong about the red. We're going to see a mulligan from red. Do you know who's on the play? I did not get that. Oh, right. Jacob showing us your hand. We see a deputy in either yeah, vial, a phantasmal there, image, a Thali's lieutenant, an unsettled yeah, mariner, and a Thalia, and one land, what, what one of them rainbow the lands. Uh, red, blue wizards. He was just oh, yeah, that's Maybe, that's okay, that's so my guess is Ryan's going to be, because I saw the K command, I'm guessing yeah. it's going to be like Grixis control splash red and six. It's going to be my guess, maybe. Ooh, oh, yeah, I like that. Yeah, yeah I'm agreeing with, with chat who went for bread, which is my I initial assumption as well, time. to no whites. I think that's most likely. And Ryan looking yeah, at seven, yeah, maybe going to keep six. Hmm. Uh, I see a red and six. You had it. I see an a astrolabe? chase, two red and sixes, red and twelve, uh, an astrolabe, a snow-covered island, and a. I will keep what it. Mm. what is like that? Is that a finale promise? No, it's got to be something else. It cannot be a finale I'll promise. Just I feel like looks like in the art. We're on one land yeah. that astrolabe, so we're hoping the draw plus astrolabe okay. is going to get us there. I think you have oh. to at that point. Waterlog Grove, very nice pickup. <laughs> All right, island astrolabe. Love that blue source going to cast a run in six. Love Astrolabe. Just missing a fetch land for all the value. Okay. Oh, yep. Thalia. That's... <sighs> I have feelings about Thalia, and they are probably about the same as Ryan's right now. Oh. Go. Uh, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I have feelings about Astrolabe. <laughs> <laughs> I do, too. They're very <laughs> loving. Yeah. Oh, Lieutenant. The Here we go. Oh boy. Gonna slide something yep. underneath. Mariner. And an unsettled okay. Mariner. Gonna pick up a bunch of counters. So the combo uh, the with combat. Thalia plus Mariner as someone that plays decks with Three removal um, yeah. and that tr traditionally have a good humans matchup, when the humans player yeah. starts off uh, with Mariner and Thalia, it gets really complicated. And if there's another disrupt development in there like Freebooter or Meddling Mage, it starts to feel like you're getting locked out. Yeah. That's one of the humans draws that can be just extremely disruptive. Um, uh, so every removal spell essentially costs two more now. The uh, notable thing actually is a lot of the humans lists, especially if you see Mariner are no longer running Freebooter, it's become much less popular and yeah, usually yeah. taken out in favor of Unsettled Mariner. So I wouldn't expect to see any Freebooters from Jacob today. We saw an Ice Fang Quaddle coming in for Ryan, something not taxed, gonna draw a card from that. And we so that's whenever you get targeted or I think we need one more snow permanent to turn on the death touch. Notably, if Jacob just pushes with a Thalia death touch, not going to look so good. Right. Sounds good. Uh, See what we got. We're going to have a run at six. Yeah. Thalia already out of ping range, which is, you know, one of the advantages of run at six, just being able to gun down a Thalia. Though it would cost a mana here, even if it could. The question for Ryan right now is probably like, is it even worth it uh, to go after the Renin Six? The I might just okay, yeah, push into Jacob's life total here. I agree. I would not push with the Mariner though, because I think that's protected. Well, depends on how much how much removal you know that Ryan has for the previous two games. I might not swing with the Mariner. <laughs> but if you swing with the Lieutenant and he blocks with the Quaddle, you're unlocking it. Oh, he doesn't have Death Touch yep. yet. Never mind. I'm all in. We need uh, three snow permanents for Death Touch. Is that right? I believe it's four, four. others. It's, it's either four or four others. I'm going to look that up. Yep. 
Oh, this is just such a beating. Okay, sure. Oh boy, deputy detention yeah. hitting uh, Ice Fang Quaddle. Over there. And it, it's Three oh. other snow permanents. My mistake, it does have death touch, but now it has left the battlefield. This is a pretty commanding position for Jacob. Ugh. This, this is, is a beating. Perfect curve there of two disruptive elements, pump effects, and then a phantasmal image to either double up on the Mariner if you need an additional disruptive elements or just to go uh, yeah. big with the Lieutenant. And we went big, which makes a lot of sense. Ryan at four, very up against a wall here. Yep, I think being on the no run and six to hit the image. Jacob, I think in a in a clever sense, I don't know if this was his thinking, but it is very yeah. clever for the loot, for the um, image to copy something that gets his value right away. Because knowing that Ryan has Renin 6, if he plays another one, he can just ping the image and it doesn't matter what it is, it dies. So you don't want to be copying something that get, gains its value from sitting on the battlefield. And so I think a lieutenant there is absolutely perfect. It just comes in three counters. You know, if, if he does have a Renin 6, it just eats it and doesn't matter. Lose a 1-1, no, no, doesn't right matter. No, 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 um, okay. So I think Jacob made sure a very good choice there. And this is a, this is a, it's a lieutenant. lieutenant. Okay. Yeah. All right, let's see what Ryan has. He's at four. He's going to need a pretty significant answer. Some kind of board wipe here, or at least yep. Supreme multiple verdict? for one. Down to two, Down to the two here. Anger the gods. Yeah. Anger the gods will do work, Trigger but maybe card. not enough. We're going to get Ice Fang Cloddle back. We're going to draw a card. We're still looking at lethal with one blocker. I think we're just hoping somehow this doesn't connect yep. but Block that you got yeah it. okay <laughs> that's lethal like I said, uh jacob Thalia takes this was, down was, pretty was, decisively was, that was an incredible draw that, but, but the yeah was, that is uh, one Thalia of the reasons why you play good. humans is that you know the deck is full yeah, of creatures or that or attack so you're always going to have game just by your combat stuff but then also they just have all these other abilities that are disruptive tech on and when they line up perfectly it's just really hard to stay on pace with them and you're falling behind and your opponent is attacking you yeah they have their disruptive draws they have their aggressive draws a mix of the two and you know sometimes they don't line up right sometimes you have the wrong draw for your opponent but when when it comes together it's it's really really hard to work with um also as a tribal strategy it isn't as weak to cards like Plague Engineer, which I'm sure Ryan is playing somewhere in the 75 multiple copies probably, uh, because your creatures like, get pretty big pretty quickly. Um, there's not a lot of 1-1s that are going to stay 1-1s in humans. Yes.